Hey guys, if it's one thing that I don't care to spend hours doing, it's hair. Sometimes it even drives me crazy. But here I'll show you a few different looks that are really easy and that I've been enjoying. So grab an elastic band, several bobby pins, a hairspray and comb, and let's get started. Go ahead and brush out any tangles if you need to. Grab your elastic band. And I like to flip my head back to do a high ponytail. Of course, how high you want this will be up to you. And just smooth everything out and secure it. I chose to leave my bangs out, but of course you could pull it all back if you wanted to. Okay, grab your hairspray, and I'm going to create some texture in that ponytail now. So just spritzing it, and then you're going to grab your comb and tease. Tease, tease, tease. As you can tell, I'm kind of teasing all of the sides. Just grabbing the hair and pulling it downwards. And you don't have to be too harsh or vigorous with this, but we're going to speed things up. Just keep teasing until it's nice and fluffy, like a mop. There you go. So you pretty much tease the hair to just give it more volume. If you have longer hair, thicker hair, a lot of hair, your bun's probably going to be even bigger. I'm just grabbing some sections and looping it inwards and pinning it down. Really, really simple. I would suggest doing at least four of these, but the more, the better. Think of it as like you're kind of creating a flower around the center part. So as you can see, we still have some loose ends. So just secure everything and tuck everything in. And I always have these loose bangs or baby hairs floating around. So we're just going to neaten that up a little. Just grab some hairspray and smooth everything back. And this could take some time. I always have little lumps too, which is fine. Easy to secure it down with a bobby pin. Just apply it sideways and you can also loosen things up so it doesn't look too tight. And have a little bit more hairspray just for good measure. And you are pretty much set. I've been wearing this up to most frequently lately, but all right, let's go ahead and move on to the next look. I'm going to start on the side with less hair, grab a strand, split it in two, and I'm going to be doing the twist that I have been doing in my past hair tutorials that I love. You guys know I love this method because it's an easier way than doing a French braid. So. I'm just grabbing hair and attaching it to the lower strand and looping it over and then continuing to do that all the way through. Okay, now here's the tricky part. You're going to turn around and you want to continue doing this on the underside as well, but you are going to have to just get used to your hands holding everything. This may take a little practice, but trust me, if I can do this, you can do it too. Just want to make sure that you are holding on to everything pretty securely. So I'm just grabbing hair, adding it to that bottom piece, looping it over, and then grabbing more hair and just continuing to do that until I reach close to the bottom of my ear on the other side. And then of course you want to pin everything in place, especially the end of that twist because you don't want that to fall loose. So I'm just pinning and looping it into the twist right now and doing at least a few of those. You still see that the end will want to slip out. So I'm just grabbing a bobby pin, going underneath and crisscrossing that other bobby pin so that it'll be secure. See, now it's not gonna move. And if there are any lumps or just pieces that may feel a bit loose, go ahead and bobby pin that and loop it inwards too. And that's how it's all going to look so far. Just nice twist on the side. I actually thought it looked pretty cute as it is, but not the look we're going for. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other side and leave my bangs out. If you want a more elegant look, go ahead and slick that all back, but I'm kind of going for a cute look. So just doing the same thing, two strands, grabbing some hair to attach to the bottom strand, looping it over, and just continue doing that until you get the rest of the hair. And then once again, secure everything right behind the ear. What I love about this is that it gives you texture and a little bit of volume right at the sides there. So now with the end, you can do whatever you like. You could 
bring it all up and create a side chignon bun. Of course, if you want it bigger, try the teasing method once again to make it more poofy. And that's how that would look. I absolutely love that. But then, of course, if we want to go for a cuter look, which I think is great for the season, and everyone is doing the side braid, I mean, it's just adorable. So you could do whatever braid you want. I'm just doing a basic one here. Of course, once you reach the end, go ahead and secure it. A smaller band would probably be better, but I just used the one that I had. And there is that look. It's just so feminine and so cute. You could also create a bun with the braid. And if you have longer hair, just twist it around into a bun and secure everything down. And there you go. All right, let's do one more just for kicks. Get that hairband ready and a nice sheer scarf. The longer the better. Going to just grab that and place it around like a headband. And then grab everything to the side. Start twisting it. Twist, twist, twist just to tighten that end up. And then you're just going to loop it upwards and then grab that small little bun loop. The smaller the better in this case over here and then just secure that with your elastic band and then what you're going to do is grab the two ends and just loop it around the bun it's just going to neaten up the look and then tie it and that is pretty much it so easy it's like the lazy hairdo but still really cute because you're using a cute scarf Multi-purpose. I love multi-purpose things. Adjust accordingly, tuck things in if you wish, and that is the final look. So here's a quick recap of the looks that we did. I really hope you enjoyed them. Try them out and share them with me on Facebook and Twitter. I would really love to see your renditions of it. And you guys have an awesome one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!